In this video, I will show you a quick overview of the QuickDAM module in Model Maker. The QuickDAM module in Model Maker works as follows. If we go to Utility QuickDAM, we can set up our parameters for our water level, our wall, crest levels, crest width, our crest spillway level, upstream and downstream slopes. If you want to, you can also add your key slopes. I'm going to make my key slopes one in one. And then we can quite quickly calculate the dam wall volumes. And we can also work out, I'm just going to indicate my water as this bit of the catchment. And the program calculates the water area and volumes for me. I will then have the ability to do a quick quotation, putting in client information, add some earth moving and diesel prices, and get a printout of the estimated um, construction cost. We can then go and also calculate our quarry. But before we design the quarry, this is basically where the volume of the dam wall needs to be excavated from the dam basin. And this, this function will actually balance the cut and fill so that whatever I cut out of the dam basin or the catchment area, I can use that to build the dam wall and without having to import any material. To do that, I have to do some preparation in my strings module. And um, uh, before I do that, also just move the string to a new position and um, maybe even change the shape of the dam wall. Maybe do something like that. And then recalculate this whole calculation. This time around, I'm going to add the dam crest and toe lines in there as well. I will also add my water and my water will run again bigger than the catchment area and I will go back down to the center of the dam wall and maybe add some more nodes here. Just make sure that I take my water right up to the dam wall. And uh, that gives us some calculation. And I'll probably have to repeat that for the water's um, volume. But what I've basically done was copy the top of the water area out. And um, so my quick dam utility looks like this. I can do this very neatly, but I'm just going to do it real quick. So we will say the approximate area for our dam excavation or our quarry. Uh, let's say I want my quarry to be in this area here. And I can actually add a string in that area. All right, and now with that string, the requirement for this method to work well is to actually split our string, create a little gap in our uh, string quick dam module. Let's get our water area defined again. Um, let's use our water catchment area as that. Just get a rough idea. Uh, so it's all about this area of 1.7 hect 1.17 hectares. Uh, the program also needs to know what the wall is again. So we'll just run that calculation again. And we'll go to our quarry and this time around our approximate area is now defined. The correct area will start at this gap using that string. And it will now add our quarry into the second surface project too. And then we will take the rest of our damn wall and put that into project two as well. We'll add some triangulation. 
and we will clean up our triangles. And there you have it. So if I go and view this now in three dimensions, you'll see the dam all is now stepped neatly into position with the quarry. And if I run a calculation, you will see that the cut and the fill is now balancing each other out as well. Be sure to watch the other videos where I use the quick dam module to approach dam design in different ways.